Hi, this is Nmerik Citizen. In today's video about microblog, I want to share my choices of applications that I'm using for posting content on my microblog. The first thing I want to share with you uh, without uh, talking about the specific um, application, I want to share the important resources that are available to you if you are in need of help uh, regarding any aspects of uh, microblog services and uh, one specific uh, section is related to the actual applications uh, that you can use for use with uh, microblog or with any um, aspect of microblog so if you head in the help.microblog.blog forward slash categories you'll find there is a, a bunch of section where people are discussing or I are simply um, asking for some help regarding a feature of microblog and there is this section which is called apps where you can go right there and see a lot of people asking or talking about the available apps that you can use with microblog so I, th I think it's an important uh, thing to know if you uh, ever want to ask a question about this now, um, the first app that I use uh, in the, uh, for posting content on microblog was Mars Edit. It's a pretty well known and uh, it has been around for quite a long time. And this is this little app here, which is a rocket in the application icon, which I find it to be uh, pretty funny considering the name. So, what you see right now is a, the, main, uh, the main window of the Mars Edit. And it, it's a pretty simple text editor, but even, uh, in the past, they added the feature to post on microblog. So if I go in the Mars Edit and select Settings, you see here there is a blog section where you can add uh, some other blog to your uh, configuration and here this is uh, where I entered the uh, URL for posting to the uh, to my microblog instance so once it's done it's available there and there is a list of blogs on the sidebar on the left and if I click on the post here uh, the Mars Edit will download uh, the, the list of posts currently available on my microblog. So I can also refresh this list as needed. And then it will simply drop the list here. And the nice thing about that is that we can go back in time and look at the, each post that I, uh, I have on my blog. And you will see there is a title, a publishing, published date, edited, edited date, and, and a category column. And when you are uh, clicking on that, you can double click on the specific post. And if you forgot to uh, set a category to this uh, blog post, then you can set it right there. So this is uh, a post about Apple. So I guess I'll click on this and I'll send this update to the uh, to the uh, to the blog and it will say, tell me that there is no title to the actual uh, blog post which I'm fine with that so I'll just click send and it will send the updated uh, post to the uh, micro blog and there's another one here which talks about the IA presenter so I'll double click on that <clears throat> and I can select this uh, blog post category which is apps and services and again I'll send uh, the update to the uh, to the uh, service so this allows me to make sure that every blog post has a category so the other thing that you'll see with uh, Mars Edit is there is a local draft here where you can write a bunch of posts and then eventually you'll decide if you are ready to release them to the world and if I go there this is the main editing uh, window where if you add more blogs, you could select on which blogs you want to send the post. Also, there's the uh, sidebar here where you select the category and at the bottom right here, I'll just move that. Up. Here it is the how I want the post to be, what's the status of the post I want to, to use. So in that case, I'll make a test post and then I'll set it to be published when I hit the send to blog button here. 
So as you can see, uh, there is a formatting bar and then there is the actual te text. You can also drag and drop images on the uh, blog uh, post as, as needed. And also when uh, you type some text, you'll see that there's a title field that just um, popped up because uh, past a certain limit, I think it's uh, 300 characters, uh, Marcedit will suggest you to maybe set a title to your blog post. So I'll leave it uh, like that. And um, as you can see, it supports uh, um, Markdown. So I'm, and here, what you see is the actual preview of the blog post. So it's not a, full, a fully um, uh, like for like a pr preview, but it gives you an idea of the formatting of your blog post that you are about to send to your um, blog. So I'll simply hit the send here. It tells me that there is no title and should I put one or simply send it. So I'll send it and it will be published right away. So send and boom, my blog post uh, is online. So I'll go on my blog, I'll hit refresh here. <clears throat> Eventually, there is a publishing latest changes to your blog at the bottom right. Uh, this is normal. This is the, the time for the uh, uh, microblog uh, backend services to regenerate the website, which will include the latest uh, blog post. So eventually, if I hit refresh, I will see my... Um, ah, here it is. This is the, the, the post that I just created. I don't know. Yeah, if I go in my uh, post list here, I can see that I, I have my post and which the formatting that I use. So that's for Marcedit. Um, I used to use Marcedit, but eventually I switched to another uh, app uh, because I wanted to have one app for all my writing needs. And so I switched to something else. My switch to uh, Ulysses, Ulysses uh, is uh, more of a practical uh, reason instead of being because it was way better than Marcedit, which is which is not the case. Um, I think Ulysses is very well uh, focused for writers, and I like this uh, environment where you can focus on writing your things. And I and I want to use the less apps possible, so I switch to um, Ulysses. Uh, a few a few years ago and uh, this is the actual uh, window for editing text um, you can change the formatting of this uh, the way the text is is displayed when you are actually writing and uh, you'll see that you can also get the list of folders where if you have many um, writing projects or many documents that you can uh, classify or organize in folders so it provides a very um, clean environment. And then when uh, you are ready to publish, you simply go there in the uh, publish uh, button. And then when you click on that, you'll see a preview of what you are about to publish on, on microblog. And uh, before hitting publish here, let me show you, uh, there's a drop down here when I, where I can select where I want to publish this blog post. Uh, I could select to publish it to uh, Numeric Citizen Space, which is my main uh, blog or main website. And you'll see that the, this, the formatting of this um, blog post has changed to kind of reflect how it will, how it will look on uh, the Ghost uh, website, because my main website is hosted on Ghost. Um, if I want to switch back, I can select microblog here, and then it will uh, reflect the formatting more in line with the way microblog uh, displays the, the blog post. I can manage my accounts here and this is where you can add many more uh, destinations for your publishing needs if you are many place where you can publish. So that's the, the two uh, sites where I'm publishing. And then when you are ready to publish that, you just click publish here. You can again, select the categories of the post. Uh, and the, the list here is uh, coming from a uh, micro blog uh, categories that I'm actually using um, for posting. So I can again, click on that and 
select uh, one or more categories so my blog post uh, would be displayed uh, in different categories if I go on my website and click on this specific categories uh, uh, URL. So I can set the, the post to be in a draft or I can just set it, set it to be published right away or I can schedule it because microblog supports uh, publishing um, in uh, set, scheduling a post uh, publishing in the future so for now I could say just publish and then the action here is telling Ulysses what Ulysses should do once the blog post is online so I could just say uh, that set it to be just do nothing I could ask him to ask the the app to go to uh, the blog post list on microblog or I could select to view the actual uh, blog post once it's published usually I'll set it to none and then I click OK and then the uh, blog post is uh, sent to the microblog service you'll see that in this environment uh, there's no in the sidebar there is no list of posts that are actually uh, available online so this is something that i wish uh, ulysses would provide because you uh, can see that in mars edit if i go that there here you'll see all my blog posts this is not available in ulysses um, but once a blog post has been sent if i go there you'll see there is a little uh, kind of a arrow there in the um, in the, the list of published uh, posts it means that this post uh, Ulysses knows that this post has been published and then if I go there and I make a change in this blog post then it will allow me to update an already published blog post so this is very important when you find errors or you want to correct or add something to an already published post uh, this is something that really uh, helps to uh, fix errors so this is for the uh, Ulysses, uh, Ulysses app, which I, I like a lot. And again, this is not because it's way better than Mars Edit. It's more refined for writers, I would say. And for me, it's really a matter of focusing on one app to be uh, used for posting online. I kind of forget that forgot that uh, I wanted to uh, uh, use this uh, blog ex post example um, and I forgot to add this specific um, paragraph that, that, I, that set the context of why I posted this uh, blog post so I'll send an update with Mars Edit to the already published blog post and so people know uh, what's going on if they are uh, looking looking at my timeline so the next app that i sometimes use to write posts on bankor blog is the 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 microblog app itself um, the microblog service uh, as a an official uh, app that i use for posting which is called microblog and the reason for that is sometimes uh, what you have to understand is that none of the apps before i showed you uh, allows you to consume your microblog timeline. So let's say I, I'm browsing. Uh, this is actually my microblog timeline right now. And if I kind of find a, a, a someone writing a or sharing an idea or sharing a post uh, for which I want to uh, write something, then uh, I can select the edit button here and again I'll be presented with a very simple uh, text editor where, where I'll be able to write something and again as soon as I'll have more text uh, in this uh, blog post eventually it will show a title uh, once, the, once the blog post is more than 300 characters and I can also go here and select the show categories where I'll have a choice of the categories associated for this specific post. So this is why sometimes I'm using a microblog app. It's sometimes it's for a quick and easy way to publish online. Uh, I know there is a new version coming uh, soon, pretty soon, uh, that will really um, 
uh, add some very nice features and some redesign. Uh, it's currently in, in beta testing for the iPhone and the iPad. I'm not sure about the uh, Mac version though. Uh, so this is a pretty uh, simple way to post online. And again, this is a nice way to merge the consumption of my uh, micro uh, blog timeline and also being able to quickly just send something on my blog. And again, you can see the list of actually published posts. Uh, and the one that I just updated is right there. If I want to add an, a title, I can do that. Even though the, the, the original post was done with Mars Edit, there is no reason why I cannot simply go there, set the title and hit the update button on the top right corner. So it's pretty easy to do. Oh, by the way, there is the, the counter here, how, how many characters this blog post has. So this is for the third um, app that I sometimes use for posting uh, text or blog post online. There is one thing I want to uh, talk about related to posting content on microblog. As we remember earlier in the video, I uh, posted one uh, post on uh, microblog and then after I went back to update the post with a new paragraph that you can see here, which was not in the original post. Um, what you'll notice is that there is a, when you go in the post uh, section here on the sidebar, uh, there is a uh, mention of two version of this specific post here. So what, is, what does it mean? Uh, if I click on that, you'll see that each time I'm posting a new, an updated version of a blog post, you'll see the, um, the post version here. So this is the original one, which was posted at this time today. And this is the updated version of this. So it's pretty easy to come back uh, to a previous version of a, a post uh, using the microblog uh, website. So I wanted to share this because I think it's an important feature for uh, uh, people who post a lot of content on microblog. So that's it for today's video about uh, the apps that I'm using or that I use in the past for posting content on microblog. Again, thanks for being there. I hope you watch until the very end. So see you uh, um, some, some, some time in the future for another aspect or features that I want to share or talk about. And I hope you enjoy those videos. Thank you again for being there. Bye and peace.